Hello everyone, my name is Lindsay and I'm Becky and we are educators from the Pacific Science Center and we are here today to talk to you about our brain and even show you a real human brain because you know our brain is so important and I'm sure you're wondering well what does our brain look like? We can't always see it, right? So our brains, they can help us do so many things like process our environment, they give us, it's where our emotions come from, and so it is so important to our everyday lives. Exactly, Lindsay. So today we have an activity and all you need is your bodies and your brains to participate. Great, let's get started. So the first thing that we're all gonna do is I want you to take your two hands and put them into a loose fist. And now I want you to put those two hands together. Now this is roughly the size of your brain. And uh, now I say roughly because sometimes our brains may be a little bit bigger or maybe a little bit smaller than what our hands look like. Yeah, exactly, Lindsay. And our brains are divided into, kind of like your hands, two hemispheres. There's the right hemisphere and the left hemisphere of your brain. The entire outside of your brain is called the cerebral cortex. Great. So this is really cool and all, Becky, to imagine how big our brain is, but I think we should take a look at a real human brain now. I agree. Let's Great. do it. So we have here for you guys a real human brain that was donated to us for science so that we could learn and see what our brains look like. But to protect the brain and to protect ourselves, we need to put on some safety gloves. And we'll open this up. Take a look at a human brain. Wow. We also have half of a brain here. As you can see, we've got our two hemispheres, and this is one of those hemispheres. Mm. Yeah. Do you, what else do you observe about this brain? Um, I observe, so I know the whole entire brain casing is called the cerebral cortex. Mm -hmm. um, and I also noticed that it has ridges. Yes, yeah, all of these little wrinkles here are, is the tissue that makes up our brain. And I'm glad you mentioned the cerebral cortex, because if you look here, you can see that this is that outside cerebral cortex that we were talking about. Mm -hmm. And then we also have an inner part of the brain called the limbic system, where lots of other things happen. Very cool. Um, Lindsay, what happens if we turn the brain over? What could we find Ooh, over here? Good question, show? Becky. Yes. So this is our cerebellum right here. This is kind of where most known for our balance is. But we also have in this part here, that is where our eyes and our optic nerve connects to our brain as well as our sense of smell. Wow. So our olfactory nerve, mm -hmm. our sense of smell is there as well. Exactly. That is very cool. Yeah. And you might notice, Becky, as you hold it, it feels pretty heavy, right? Yes. Pretty dense. And the color is also tannish, and it's kind of hard to the touch. And that's because this is a preserved brain. So it's going to feel and look a little different than the brains in our heads. Oh, interesting. Our actual brains are going to be more of a whitish to grayish color, and they're going to feel like the consistency of thick mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes? Mm -hmm. Really? Wow, that's very interesting. So I've heard that people with larger brains are smarter. Is that true, Lindsay? Oh, Becky, I'm so glad you brought that up. That is just a myth. The size of your brain has actually no correlation to how smart you are. That is very good to know. So now that we've seen the brain, why don't we use our brains and do an activity? I love that. Let's do it. Okay, now we're going to try an activity that challenges the hemispheres of our brain. So let's all stand up and do this together. The first thing that we're going to do is pretty simple. You're going to stand with your feet flat on the ground, and you're going to take your left leg and move it in a clockwise motion. So your foot should be turning in. And then from here, you're going to take up your right arm and move it in a counterclockwise motion. So your arm should be turning outwards. So let's all do this together for about 10 seconds. And stop. 
Whew. Well, Becky, that felt pretty good, you know, getting my body moving. But I wonder what would happen if we tried to do it on the same side. Yeah, I think we should try that, Lindsay. Okay, so now let's try that again. You're gonna take your left leg, you're gonna move it in that same clockwise motion. Move it in. You're gonna take up your left arm and you're going to move it in a counterclockwise motion. Ooh, Ooh. sorry. A little hard, wobbly. It's hard to balance. Yeah. Huh. You know, Becky, I noticed that, that when I did it on the same side, I had a lot harder time concentrating than when I was doing it with my opposites. That's right, Lindsay. I did too. And one of the reasons why we might have had more trouble is because the right hemisphere of our brain was controlling the left side of our body's movement. And when we were trying to do two different tasks, with our arm and our leg, it meant that our brain had to work harder to figure out what those two different tasks were. Oh, so I see. So it's kind of like crisscrossed. Our right hemisphere controls the left side and our left hemisphere controls the right side. Yes. Exactly. Oh, well, that was a fantastic activity using our brains. I hope you guys enjoyed it at home. Thank you so much for using your brains with us today. And now you guys are experts too. So share what you learned today with your mom or your sister or someone that you live with. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks, guys.
So, Becky, what do you observe here? Um, well, it's tan and it feels kind of hard, Lindsay. Yeah, you're exactly right. The color is kind of tannish and it's not as squishy as I imagined it would be. And that's because this brain is preserved. Our brains in our heads, they're going to be more of like a whitish or gray color. And they're also going to feel kind of like the consistency of thick mashed potatoes. Whoa, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. You know, Lindsay, I can also see the two, the two uh, halves of the brain here too. Yeah, the, the right hemisphere and the left hemisphere that we were talking about. Nice. Great. Very cool.